guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical, and today we're gonna be doing, well, we are doing right now a live unboxing. I've got a bunch of stuff out here in front of me, and I will be reviewing each and every item here. So we've got some smart lights over here. We have smart light strips. We've got, let's see what else we have. We've got smart light bulbs. We've got this UFO color changing, pretty cool smart light thing. I'm pretty sure these can connect to your cell phone. They change colors with the music, all that kind of cool stuff. We've got some weapons lights, gun lights here. Uh, actually a bunch of different weapons lights and gun lights here. And this is actually a sight. Okay, so we've got guns, gun stuff over here. Uh, really awesome, super high powered light over here from Wubin. So there's a, a smaller, more EDC type light. This one has a really cool, really cool feature that I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit here. Uh, so these are all actually weapons lights, weapons stuff. And then I'm gonna start off with this little uh, pearl of coolness over here. This, uh, this, all this stuff is linked in the description below guys, by the way. Um, there's links and discount codes. So if you if you click the link for this watch, really cool little watch here, the link is, like I said, in the description below, and it gives you a discount automatically. Some of the stuff you actually have to type in like Bone Tactical 10 or something like that, but all of that stuff is in the description below. These are some really, these watches are really fairly priced. So when they asked me if I if I wanted to review one, I was like, heck yeah, I'll review one. I'll I would love to because I think I thought you guys would enjoy seeing a, a cool watch for an affordable price. So that being said, uh, I'm just going to slap this baby on and continue on the video. But the, like I said, the link is in the description below. Let me know. Give me a comment here. Let me know if you guys think this is cool or not. If you guys like the watch or if you don't like the watch, how it looks and everything like that. And, uh, and then the rest of the people also can know, you know, you know, whether you, people think it's stylish, whether people like it or not. And, uh, you got the little skull in there for telling time, rotating bezel. Pretty cool. I like it. I think it's cool anyway. So going from there, we'll probably leave the tactical stuff for last. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the lights here. The, the next most, um, the next kind of coolest thing that I wanted to, wanted to talk about or that I'm most excited to talk about is going to def most definitely be this light here. So I'll push this stuff out here. This is the tactical stuff here, all tactical goodies there. And, but the, the next coolest thing that I was kind of excited to see, I think is the smart light. So I will, oh, that's one of the older ones. Yeah, they're both, eh. anyway. These are some of the old EDC ghost knives, NPE ghost knives on the website that I'm using to open these boxes. Uh, We've got a newer version that's black, but I use the I use the old versions to unbox as like beaters. Anyway, this is a Lumery UFO smart ceiling light. Okay, and uh, I guess on the back, see if there's anything cool on the back. Yeah, it just changes the colors to your room, all that kind of stuff. You guys probably don't are not necessarily interested in all the specs and all that. But uh, I think it works, it's a smart light, so it works with an app, right? And then it also like, you can set it to like change to the music and all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. It's got like an LED strip around the top here. And then the, the light itself has like 16 million colors or something like that. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to, te to installing it and testing it out. I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. The other smart lights are a smart bulb here, which also should be pretty interesting, right? Who doesn't, uh, who doesn't want a smart bulb? This is actually a double pack of smart bulbs. So these as well hook up to, your, to an app on your cell phone 
and you can change all the colors and change the colors of the music and all that kind of cool stuff on these as well. So that's something else pretty cool. These are from Vaunt and then these are from Lumery. All of that is are linked in the descriptions below. I really think that's kind of a cool way to, you know, whatever your personal space is, even if you're, you know, you, if you just, if you're renting a room in a house even, and you want to really just customize to the maximum your area, why not put some, you know, smart light bulbs in there? The smart light strips are kind of cool. Uh, they, I, I don't know if I would want to go crazy with the smart light strips because with the bulbs and the lights, you can, you can have them normal and be like low profile undercover. And then you can also have them, uh, color, you know, go to color crazy colors whenever you want to. The, the light strips though, they, they kind of, uh, it's kind of got to be a, for me, it's a little weird if it's in your primary location, it's got to kind of be like a, like a designated, uh, fun or, you know, area of, you know, like a party area or whatever. So I think we're going to do the weapons lights last, and then we'll compare and contrast some of these flashlights here. This particular flashlight is, uh, let's see, it's the Wubin C2 is what we've got here. And I really have had just a lot of great, great luck with Wubin. And they, they make very high quality lights at a very affordable price. I really enjoy the Wubin lights. This is the uh, much smaller version. This is the Wubin D1. So we've got the C2, the D1. And the cool things about these are they work pretty great as a Kubaton. They don't really protect your outside of your hand very much, but they do protect the small bones of your hand against breaking. And they, they do help a little bit increase the impact of a punch if you had to use one in a self-defense situation. And it's something that you can carry pretty much anywhere. It's nothing like a bone breaker, obviously, but it is better than nothing as far as being able to use it as self-defense. This here is the T1, really, really cool. This is like uh, the full package, comes with a really cool paracord lanyard that you can, you know, hang it around your neck, use it from. I was looking, I was looking up this actually on the website earlier tonight and I was super impressed with this tail cap. It looks really cool because most tail caps are like a click, but this one's not. This one, you actually manipulate one way or the other, and I've never seen anything like this before. I think this is, I really think this is pretty cool and innovative, and this is an extremely powerful light. You can see the lens here, crystal clear, with a LED, nice little LED chip in there, and you know, space age construction, uh, aluminum, some sort of an aluminum alloy that's just, very well machined these it's got the ribbing in here for heat dissipation i will say before even using this light they're going to get hot but super bright the led technology and flashlights has come so far guys we've got lights like this a light like this you can keep in your truck or something like that and it's just an absolute beast beast of a light and and really uh, i think that's kind of this would be like one of my favorite lights to keep in my truck or something Definitely want to make sure they're rechargeable and these are all rechargeable. You can even keep it, you know, plugged with a cigarette lighter and, and you could even mount it in your vehicle, car, truck, whatever your vehicle is and have it to where it's plugged in all the time. You could have one like this in your house and you could have one like this as your EDC and then you're pr completely covered and you always have light anywhere that you go. As far as the... Uh, weapons lights go we've got a plethora of weapons lights here now this o light one is really is a really cool pistol light all right i love the fact that it's tiny it does work well i have actually been using this one and just stuck it back in the box for for this review but this is a cool light i don't necessarily love the trigger setup but everything else is awesome and this little thing here is just a magnet so you just you just literally just touch that to a magnet. So if it's on your pistol, your pistol can be here. And at the end of the day, you can just set it down on top of the magnet and then you're good to go and it's charging. So that's a great weapons light. I really like the Olight one there. We've got the, 
the Through Night Black Scout Survival Edition. And it's really just a, like now it, I would consider it to be an old school weapons light because it's very big and I would even say clunky, but it does work. N not as easy to charge and probably something I would want more on like a carbine. This is the three night, Through Night, excuse me, TW10. This is the Olight PL Mini Valkyrie 2. All of this stuff is links, links in the description below with either a disc, if it's just a link, then you get the bone tactical discount. And if not, then if, it's, if, it, if it has a discount code there, then you have to type in the code to get the discount. This one is the real, this is a Feachi and they, they actually do have, a, they're a good price and pretty well made, but it's the, it's the real deal, uh, sh kind of a streamlight copy. I do like this a lot, and it's pretty much a dedicated carbine light, I would say, especially uh, like an AR pistol or carbine because it's not huge, it's not super powerful, but it's high speed, it's nice, everything's smooth, very easy to use, and well built for the price, a great, great, great price. So it's kind of a, I would say, pistol, carbine, or you know, high speed carbine, something like that, and then but, but these uh these black scout ones here there's a this is a another black scout TW10 here and from through night and this is the the burnt bronze colorway bronze ish colorway and i would say that these are kind of just in the in between i w they're a little big for me for a pistol but you could probably put them on a pistol and they're a little small and not quite powerful enough and clunky for a carbine talking about setting up your high speed carbine or you know PDW, any kind of running and gunning, you know truck gun, whatever you want to say. Uh, uh, even if it's a something as down to as small as a like a submachine gun, even I would say that this light and cheap would be a great accessory. As and this fr this is from mid ten, and it's a uh, it's a really cool holographic. Uh, it's the model. Let's see if I can see, show what model it is, but. It's a really cool holographic sight, uh, something I guess very similar to, I would say, sight mark or something like that, but maybe a little bit better built for the price. Uh, and, and, and it's cheap. It's very cheap, very, very cheap. And let's see if I can find the information for the actual. This is the one by 22 by 33 red green dot sight, four different reticles to choose from. And that's, that's pretty much the deal here. It's, uh, it's mid 10 and the mid 10 link for this is in the description below. So check that out. It is, it is a pretty cool light, comes with the batteries, all that kind of stuff. And it's one of the great things about holographic sites is they're fast. It's got one piece of glass in here. So I can have both eyes open, get it on target and they're fast and they're great. The per, in my opinion, the perfect, the perfect setup. To, so if I really wanted to, to have a, let's say I had a, a short, any kind of a short carbine rifle, whatever. One of these, a light on the side, one of these on top, and then iron flip up iron sights as a backup would just be pretty great. And you're talking about the, the flip up backup sights. I did a video on those also. You can get the flip, flip up backs, backup sights and the weapon light from Feachi cheap. And then this, the sight from mid 10, and you're on a budget and you don't have to spend a lot of money and look, you can live without a light. And if you, if you really wanna spend big money on something, my final tip, and this is a tactical gear tip, and not a lot of people will tell you this, but if you really wanna spend big money on something and an upgrade for your gun, night sights is the way to go. Night sights with tritium inserts, okay? Because any of this stuff on the table that has batteries in it, multiple moving parts, all that kind of stuff can fail. A set of iron sights with tritium inserts will last you for 10 years. It's really the only thing you need on your gun. It doesn't matter what gun it is, pistol, rifle, shotgun, get tritium night sights if you wanna do the best possible hands down modification, no matter who you are or what it is, night sights is the way to go. I get mine from zahal.org. Definitely check out zahal.org. He's in tight with the Meprolite guys in Israel. I've trained with, the, they have some Israeli special operator guys that go to the, the range over, the Danny High range over there in, in Israel. And, and I've been there to the Danny High range. I've been training with those guys. They're squared away dudes. They put 
thousands of rounds downrange, full auto, everything like that. Those guys are out there. That's all they do is just shoot the crap out of guns with Meprolite sights on them and testing that that Meprolite stuff works. I'm not a huge Trigicon, Trigicon fan. I know that everybody in the U.S. loves Trigicon, but I'm a real solid believer that Meprolite's the way to go. Get your, I get my stuff from Zahol and not, I'm not gonna tell you that it's gonna be the absolute cheapest in the world, but it's real because it's not gonna be a knockoff. He's in tight with the Meprolite guys and you're supporting good, solid, hardworking guys, good people. And, and that's, that's, why, that's why I throw my hat in the ring with, with Zahol Org. And the biggest tip to take away from this, no matter where you get them from, is that Night Sights is the number one weapon upgrade. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Bone out.